Good afternoon, guys. Welcome aboard. This is Matisse McIntyre, and you are cooking with royalty. So let me slow it down a little bit because my little sister said I talk entirely too fast. So on today's menu is chicken mongola, which consists of cornstarch, chicken broth, brown sugar, low sodium, soy sauce, because you don't want it to be too salty. And, and the little one is ginger and garlic. So this is cooking right now. I'll probably got like maybe five, six more minutes on that. And before you start frying it, make sure you baste your chicken and cornstarch to give it an extra little crispy to it. And my side is going to be um, fresh steamed cabbage. I don't like my cabbage overcooked, but just a little steam to where I can have that crunch to it. And I'm also going to use some... Um, Thai noodles um, to go over or uh, to go under my chicken mangola and this is it right here I uh, yes I love Asian noodles and I love Asian food so I do cook a lot of that um, but you have to get it from an Asian market so this is what we have um, I got my water boiling with a little bit of uh, broth in it as well so this is the cabbage guys this is the chicken the cornstarch is to give it like a gravy with the um, broth and the brown sugar, like a sweet, tangy type, you know, seasoning to it or gravy to it to go over the noodles. You also can use a bed of rice if you want to, but I'll show you guys that a little later on. Thank you guys for joining me. Let me turn this fan off so you can see what I'm about to do. So right now, um, my chicken is cooking down to where I want it to be at. It do have some broth to that, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that broth that is already in the chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of my seasoning to it, like the cornstarch. Got that going. Put this to the side. I have my chicken broth. I'm adding brown sugar. Then I have my soy sauce, low sodium. Top it off with some ginger and some garlic. Trying to get all that ginger out. Ginger makes, if you never cook with ginger, try it. Um, ginger is very strong. You don't need that much ginger because it will overpower your meat. Um, you also use a little pinch of it in your soup, which will be really, really good. So I'm going to stir this up just a little bit. Get all that good flavor, good mixture in there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there it is. Next, my cabbage is cooking well. Like I said, I don't want it overcooked or undercooked. I just want some crunch to mine. But that's it, that's it. You know, I, I got a little bit of sesame seed oil in it which is really good. Try to make it not sound authentic Asian because I'm not Asian, but I love their food. So stir it up a little bit. Oh, now I have my pasta. So y'all bear with me. I'm trying to edit this stuff, but neither here nor there. It's going to turn out right. There you go. I know it might be like a four or five minute video, but just to give you a little snippet of what I do day to day. Oh. It smells so good, so good. Okay, guys, this is what you have right here. This is your Mongolian uh, chicken. Consists of cornstarch, chicken broth, brown sugar, garlic, and ginger with some other regular seasoning. And I do have some cabbage on the side. And this right here is a French roll. You have two types of spread. That's the honey butter. And that is that apple cinnamon. So bone appetite. Thank you guys.